So I just want to get something straight real quick. I am Canadian. Okay, even though I'm Canadian, I still follow US politics. Now, although I'm not a political expert, and quite frankly, most average day civilians should never claim to be, um, I follow the politics in the States, and I was following the election, and as far as it goes, last night, it was the 8th of November, it was election night, and I was up well into the morning um, on the 9th watching it, so I probably went to bed around 1.30 a.m. watching the election. I was watching, getting live streamed on YouTube. I was getting excited. I was getting pumped. I was excited. I was watching America go red. Red for the Donald. Making America great again, right? It's going to be awesome, right? Okay. So I guess this quick video is going to touch a little bit on the election and kind of my thoughts on how it's affecting things already. It's kind of crazy and I'm excited, yet at the same time I'm worried. So I'd like to share an experience I had with you today at work. So I went into work and the guy I was working with was really upset about the election. So I guess he followed it too. So he's Canadian too, by the way. So I live in Canada. Mm -hmm. Anyways, he was way upset that Trump won. And um, he kind of looked at me like, you're not upset? I was I was like, you know, let's be real. I, I, I kind of jumped up and down a couple of times, like, excitedly, like, yes! Awesome! Yes! Oh, yeah! 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 Okay, okay I, w I wasn't that, like, insane in front of him, but I was like, Yeah, so I was, I was kind of doing that, just just, just a, a little bit, and because um, he, he was like really upset that Clinton lost, and I really didn't have any tolerance for that, and uh, he quite frankly said he didn't want to talk to me or be my friend anymore, and I was like, okay, cool, um, I guess that, you know, for me, that's how life works for me. If I believe something you don't, usually everyone's else like, you know, Evan, we ain't going to be your friend no more because we don't agree. And if we can't agree, then you're not the friend for me. You know, that that's just what I get all the time. So I was, I was kind of prepping myself for it on the way into work because I figured that that was what was going to happen. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a little bit of fallout there. He was like way upset. Um, quite frankly, I think... Anyone who's like overly upset about it, you know, I, I shouldn't even express such an opinion about those kind of people. Anyways, yeah, I caused some unnecessary, unneeded tension in the workplace today. So, me and this dude I work with went quiet. You know, he's like, you know, we we ain't talking. So he he actually essentially told me that. He's going through his Facebook, and whoever has supported Trump in any way, or is happy that Trump was elected, um, he's deleting them, unfriending them. He's like, I don't care if we've been friends since birth. I don't care if our if our moms walked across the street, you know, pushing strollers, you know, when we knew each other as tykes. Yikes! If you voted for Trump, you know, he's just like, you're out, you're done. He's saying, you're fired to his friends who hired the Donald. Okay, technically they're Canadians, so they didn't really hire the Donald. But you know what I mean, supported the Donald. But, now I'm kind of shocked by that, and I'm honestly a little bit worried about this. See, I'm not immediately worried about what happened in the States. I'm fine with it for various reasons. I'll, I'll get into that. But what I'm really worried about in the interim, like right, right now, like in the immediate future, is the effect this will have on the relationships of people. Because it seems like everyone's going to be like, you know what I mean? This is like crazy. So, yeah. I got a little bit of a silent treatment. You know, I was like, you know, we're still going to be good. You know, we're still going to get along. Still going to have a good day. You know, it doesn't need to be like this. 
you know, me and him weren't friends on Facebook, so he didn't instantly delete me. That was nice. He did say it was harder, you know, kind of sort it out with me because he had to see me in person after I said that I supported Trump in election. But at the same time, it's like, really? Like, really? It's kind of insane. Okay, so everyone's going to have a difference of opinion, right? That That's, that's called life. Um... And it's natural for you and I to struggle with having those differences of opinion. That's also called life, okay? Um, but I don't think that we need to actively and adamantly um, assault, belittle, or, be or uh, unfriend everyone who doesn't see eye to eye with us. I think at times if they make us uncomfortable, if they insult us, if they belittle us, and if they put us down, if they send a lot of negative energy our way, then yeah, you might want to consider unfriending them. Quite frankly, I've had people on my Facebook um, do all of that to me for various controversial topics, and I didn't unfriend them necessarily. You know, some of them I might have. I'm not. I'm not even entirely sure because that just wasn't how I was thinking you know I was definitely considering at a time because they went crazy on this particular subject and I wasn't like delete 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 because I could have but the tricky thing is some of these people I'd end up seeing in public you know um, but events like elections and controversial topics and things that happen bring out everyone's true feelings their true colors are they still going to be a polite, nice person to you because you have a difference in opinion? And sometimes it's hard to do. Um, sometimes certain people have troubles with that more than others, you know? So at the end of the day, the guy I worked with for good, like, yeah, the whole day, he ultimately decided that we're, we're just going to not talk about it and it'd be best not to bring it up in the workplace. And quite frankly, bringing up politics in the workplace is, is like, it's like, it's like, it's like weed whacking with a flamethrower. You know, it's it's not necessarily the best way to do it. There's better ways. It can be dangerous. So if you want to talk about po politics, you know, you might want to keep it on the down, down low, you know, when you go to work for now, if you, if you were ever talking about it casually before. Um, so this is a safety warning. Um, if you bring up the election, if you're happy about it, if you're sad about it, if you're mad about it, if you're glad, glad about it, if if whatever you feel about it, you gotta be really careful because apparently everyone's got feelings and these feelings are uh, quickly affected by your opinion. And I've seen this before, but I knew this was gonna come up with, come up with the election, so I'm really worried about how that's gonna affect everyone in the workplace that can create tension. You know, if they find out, oh, did you support? Oh, did you not support? Oh, what happened? Oh, they're gonna look at you a different way. They're gonna treat you a different way. And, you know, that's not supposed to happen. We don't want it to happen. But it will happen, okay? Okay, in other news, why I supported the Donald Trump. Okay, well, having the private plane for the U.S. of A. Uh, being known as Trump Force One is pretty legit. That's pretty awesome. Okay, okay. So, yeah, and, yeah, the fact that if the Donald makes a phone call, like, um, to another nation, right? So another nation picks up, they pick up. Hello, this is President Trump. Okay, and then the secretary of that nation is like, whoa, it's President Trump. And then they go to the president, hey, President so-and-so, it's uh, President Trump in line one for you. Imagine what they're thinking, you know, President Trump. This is the guy, you know, with the art of the deal guy, the guy who wants to get everything he wants to get. You know what I mean? He's he's motivated, he's committed, and he is out for it all. He, and he knows what he wants and he goes after it. And that is something that people recognize and they appreciate. And I think that will help with international relations for the US. Okay, big reason support Donald Trump is he brings out the truth of a lot of controversial topics. Um, he is for the most part very, very authentic. So he's real with people. He doesn't beat around the bush. You know, here's, here's Hillary, a convicted criminal, you know, hiding emails and what happens? Nothing, okay? So she somehow evades getting arrested. You know, I don't know how that works, but it, it does, I guess. If you're, you're Hillary, you don't have to go to jail for, you know, committing a crime like that. But anyways, Donald, 
he's kind of upfront. You know, if if you notice in the media, people will bring the attention, oh, this happened, this happened, this happened in the past. Some things he's not going to deny. He's not like, no, that never happened. He, it was just like, yeah, and I learned from it, or okay, your point is. And so I think the American people really appreciate that because he's not trying to hide or run away from most things. And the things he, he seemingly to run away from, in reality, he's probably correct in the fact that they're a lot, for the most part, kind of made up, you know, and fabricated um, as far as the uh, allegations against him. So that that seems kind of controversial. It is. It's all about your v viewpoint and certain things and viewpoint on you know, certain subjects around the election and what was brought up and the pros and cons against each candidate. Also, um, the Donald has said he's against um, abortion. I'm against abortion too. You know, I'm not going to go into it. Okay, this is not. I'm going to go into everything. Okay, um, Donald's also about bringing back jobs to the U.S. I'm good with that. Bringing back jobs to the U.S. and the North America period is good for the North American economy. It's good for the states. It's good for um, attacking their debt and bringing jobs home. There's a lot of unemployed in the U.S. And quite frankly, the main, mainstream media doesn't really look honestly at how big that number is of unemployed people in the U.S. And so if he's going to work to bring back jobs, that's awesome. Okay, And I, I totally support that. Um, and then all around, he's open to negotiating with people and he wants the best. You know, he wants to treat veterans the right way. He wants to, you know, just respect gun rights. He, wa he wants to do his best with the Constitution. You know, and, and he's not perfect, okay? Don't get, don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying that Donald Trump is perfect. What I'm saying is... As he's better than Clinton, okay? I'm not saying Donald Trump is the perfect presidential candidate. Okay, there's there's probably someone perfectly qualified or could do a much better job than him in random you know is in a random place in America, you know, a civilian who's got it figured out. Who maybe could do it, you know, who's who's a good rate person, right? But Donald is far more qualified than Hillary, okay? Now, I don't need to go into all the reasoning, and you know, I don't want this channel to become like some political channel, okay? I'm just making this because it happened, you know, the election is a big deal. And so, unless you're real, you're probably going to watch a video about the election, okay? Especially right now. And I thought I'd share my thoughts on it. You know, I'm very excited that Trump got in because I hope that it, it helps improve the situation in the States. Make America great again! Like, seriously, make America great again. That's awesome. And for those of you who think it's not great now, you know, you're the ones who's kind of thinking with a little bit more realism. Anyone right now who's willing to tell you that America is currently great is full of themselves and isn't really looking at all the facts, figures, and really seeing things for what's truly going on. But the Make America Great Again concept is powerful, okay? There's a reason it created a powerful movement. And... Yeah, all in all, I'm excited to see what will happen, but I'm also kind of worried about the division in America and possibly even throughout the world. But let's be real, we've had today several leaders throughout the world say we accept Trump as the next president and we're excited to work with him. You know, several leaders from other countries, and that's a good sign. That's a great sign. Okay, and at the end of the day, there's going to be a divide between people you know, people are going to be like, yeah, I don't know if we can do this. As far as working with other people with different viewpoints and who looked at different, who uh, voted differently, right? But at the end of the day, that's, that's going to happen anyways. But there's going to be a lot of tension because people really had their hearts set in either direction. Okay, so I'm just worried about that tension. You know, we just got to watch for that tension, okay? I think in a lot of ways, we still got to be mindful and watchful to see what will yet happen. Um, because there's a lot of upset people right now. A lot of really upset people. But when you really think about who's upset, you can also think about the money behind who's upset. I always say when you talk about anything, that if you really want to get to the bottom of something, you got to follow the money. you got to follow who's getting paid for what, right? So, yeah, just see who is not benefiting the most from it, and that's who's going to be most upset. 
Um, but at the end of the day, Trump won. Okay, in my opinion, there was some rigging efforts made throughout the election process, but it looks like Trump bypassed those efforts and overcame them, and he won. You know, he's uh, president-elect in the United States of America right now, and power to him. I hope that it works out for the best, and I wish him all the best. You know, I hope that America is great again. And I thank you for watching this quick video. These are some thoughts and feelings I got. And if you're having trouble talking about what you voted, how you voted, just be careful. You know, you just spread your, your feelings and opinions like uh, peanut butter on warm bread. You know, very carefully, cautiously, and tactfully with precision. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. Anyways, so these are some thoughts and feelings on this. And all in all, yeah, so at work, one of the things you might want to avoid talking about for now is... um the election. You might want well to just keep it on the down low for a while until it's like kind of like permanent. I don't, you know, I don't know how it's going to end up going, but yeah, it's it's not necessarily the best thing to talk about work. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you really think I'm stupid now and you don't like me no more, then hit dislike. And um, if you want more from me and my journey and my opinion, kind of see some perspective, that, some, some of my perspective, then go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, for more videos to come. Alright, thanks so much for tuning in today. All the best.